you'll take a look at Dave Lee's stock portfolio as you perhaps already know Dave Lee is extremely bullish on Tesla he believes Tesla stock will at least minimum 10x at least 10x and he has some of the best Tesla news and insights very unbiased very real news and insights into Tesla not just only bull 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 Tesla will forever go up but very unbiased so if you don't follow Dave Lee I highly recommend that you watch every single one of his videos if you are a Tesla investor like me and if it's your first time watching this channel my name is Matt Pochis I'm a serial entrepreneur and also a multi-millionaire and the only stock that I own out of all the stocks you can buy on a public exchange is Tesla so this is a very interesting uh, look for me to look into Dave Dave's portfolio because for me I don't really even see why he would own anything over than Tesla given how bullish he is on Tesla now one thing to keep in mind is that this video is from 2021 but this is the last time that I found he shared his full portfolio so this is all we got Saf, the first category is a generational company in its early stages and i put tesla t-s-i-l-a there so tesla com com comprises of over 95 percent of my stock portfolio most of the position was bought in 2012 to 2013 and my cost basis is quite low i think about 75 percent or 80 percent of my position the cost basis is six dollars and the nice. rest is maybe at a max of 15 or 20 dollars uh, cost basis per share i tend to um i plan to hold these shares as long as tesla continues to execute toward their super ambitious plans of transitioning the world to sustainable energy and just coming out with fantastic great products I still okay so i Dave also owns more than 20 other different stocks here. There's not much of a point to go through them because he basically only owns Tesla stock. 95% is just Tesla stock. Then I saw this video before I clicked on it. I thought, what? Like, like how much of Tesla stock does Dave own? Is it like 50% of his portfolio only? And I didn't watch the first two minutes. I just skipped around and I was like, whoa, that's a lot of different stocks. Is Tesla only maybe like 20% of Dave's whole portfolio? Maybe that's a lot of different positions that he is holding. But obviously Dave is 95% into Tesla stock. It's not a hundred. Tesla stock is the only stock I own, but I, of course I also have other assets and Dave said also that he has real estate and a private business. I'm the same. I got other assets as well. And Dave bought Tesla stock really early when it was below $10 per share. So we'll, we will just do some quick math and let's just assume his average price per share was $10. He said it was six doors and then he bought up to basically 15 doors per share but let's just keep it simple let's just say it's 10 doors on average just to keep it super simple and i know dave sold his previous business and it was an app now this could range i don't know how much money he has or what his net worth is if anyone knows i would welcome that in the comments um i spent some time trying to find that and it wasn't didn't seem too easy to find but we'll, we'll just make some assumptions okay let's say he sold that business that he had before for a million dollars could be more could be a less but let's say a million dollars and if we just do some simple math here we would have to time it times 73 if his average uh buying price was 10 dollars and we come to a very nice 73 million dollars so congratulations to Dave this is absolutely amazing if uh, assuming this he started with a million dollars maybe it was a lot more maybe it was a lot less either way incredibly 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 impressive now I wasn't as brave as Dave and I Vaded to invest into Tesla stock for a long time. I was very aware of Tesla and Elon since 
probably 2008 and 9, uh, which is when I got into entrepreneurship. And Elon was always one of the people who I was like, I want to do big things like that. I want to make as much money as, as, as these guys. But I did not invest into Tesla stock until 2019, mostly because I was concerned, what if Tesla goes bankrupt? And my personal opinion, in 2019, that concern went away because Tesla became profitable. At that point, I was fully convinced it will keep and, and stay profitable. Before then, I thought it was pretty risky, but I also know some people personally um, that invested in, in Tesla stock also in early 2010s and they made a lot of money and then they got out just when I got in and <laughs> they, uh, they wish they kept that position. So whenever you buy Tesla stock and if you're watching this video right now and if your position is not very sizable at the moment and if, if you are thinking it's too late today It, this is just, I think this is actually then adjusted for risk. I think today is actually the best time to get into Tesla stock, even better than 2019, then adjusted for risk. Because even in 2019, I don't, I don't think Tesla would have gone bankrupt anymore, but that does not mean that Tesla was this inevitable success story that will solve all these problems because then Tesla had somewhat limited resources still. It wasn't this giant, it didn't have this gigantic, crazy market cap. It had a lot of things going for it, which is why I invested in the Tesla stock. But it was, the market cap was just not there. So if Tesla needed to raise $50 billion this year, it can do it. It can. In 2019, 50 billion dollars to raise? I don't know. I don't know. It's very different. So I think today is actually the best time to invest, given how much of a stock then down. Right now it's seven hundred thirty-four dollars. This is we're gonna look back on this and think how was that possible? How how was the stock so low? At that point, this, this, this doesn't make any sense. And you look through history and you will find many moments that do not make any sense. And I think this is one of them. And even if Dave only sold his previous business for, let's say, only $100,000, it's still $7.3 million. That is a lot of money. That's a very nice position that Dave has. I have nothing but high respect for Dave. If you don't watch his videos and if you are a Tesla investor, you really should. He's very good. And I really like that he's not emotional at all. You can trust his judgment, I think. I believe he's very honest and he's very straightforward. So I really like that about him. So if you don't follow him, definitely subscribe. Now, in terms of other holdings that Dave has, I don't find anything particularly uh, unusual or anything that is really worth mentioning other than maybe bad luck with <laughs> Cardano. Uh, but this is just all of these other things is just 5%, less than 5% of his portfolio. So these are completely meaningless, basically. I think one of the reasons why they is still holding them is just to keep uh, you know, when you have a position in a company, even if it's just a tiny little bit, the interest to follow that company goes up quite a bit. So because I only own Tesla stock, my interest to follow every single little thing that happens to Tesla is extremely high. And if there is a technology that you're just sort of interested in and you just want to motivate yourself to look into it a little bit more, just buy a few shares of a stock and you will find quite a bit of motivation to take a deeper look into that industry or that technology or that company or what's happening within that space. And I also really think that Dave is not oblivious that there are some big risks 
to Tesla, and he he covers um, a lot of those. He's very honest about those. Uh, he's definitely not a delusional Tesla bull. Definitely not. He's very aware of there are risks with Tesla. So just in case something horribly bad happens, or there's you know there's always the next new thing. I don't think there's going to be a very big next new thing for a while, and there could be, but I don't think. Even in that case, Tesla will still be a crazy big thing for a long time. So even if there is a big thing, I don't want to split my focus really. I'm just fine staying with Tesla. I just want to see every single little thing that happens to Tesla. And if something really bad happens, I want to know about it. So if I need to exit of that position, I will do that very, very, very quickly. I don't think it's likely. It's extremely unlikely. And if I do that, I will let you all guys know, unless I stop posting videos. But as long as I, as I keep posting regular videos, I will let everyone know that I exited my position. So I think it makes sense why Dave is holding all those other companies and he's looking into other technologies. He wants to keep himself familiar, I think, and he wants to stay in the loop of what's going on in the world with other companies. And just in case Tesla goes down a lot, he will then be ready. Oh, this is probably the next thing. Let me invest more into this company. And from my understanding, Dave's philosophy is 10x investing. So he will keep a company as long as he sees a clear path to a company 10xing. I think he says in the next 10 years or a similar time frame. So as long as he sees how that is possible, he will keep that investment and hold that investment for as long as he thinks that is still possible. Obviously, he still thinks Tesla stock will at least 10x. My personal opinion about Tesla stock is that it will reach $10,000 per share by 2030. Mostly because it will solve full self-driving. That's why I think Tesla will go up a lot. You can watch uh, my other videos. For example, you have one video of uh, me reacting to a full self-driving drive. No interventions for one hour. And at the same time, I go over why I like Tesla stock so much. So watch that if you haven't seen that. If it's your first time watching this channel, my name is Matt Postius. I'm a serial millionaire, entrepreneur, and investor. Uh, there's a whole lot of other videos about Tesla. And I specifically try to focus on full self-driving because that's the main reason why I am investing into Tesla and, that, and why I think it will go up so much. And even if Tesla doesn't solve full self-driving, I still think it's a safe investment, safe in relative terms to other stocks. Uh, you can, I did a video about that. You can watch that as well, but that's a pretty good one. You should. So even if Tesla's not, if Tesla does not solve full self driving, they don't do anything with energy, nothing with insurance and nothing with robotics and other <laughs> businesses that Elon is getting Tesla into. I think Tesla stock will still outperform S and P 500 until 2030. So that's why I think Tesla stock is a pretty safe, solid investment. And I sold all my S&P 500 to go into Tesla stock. So these are my thoughts. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.